So this is a side-by-side -side comparison to uh, PS4 Remote Play and um, the PlayStation over here on the right to see how much uh, lag and delay we get between the two. Um, as you can see, they're mm, a little off from each other, but not too far off. I would recommend having a second monitor just to play, like I have here. I have one monitor hooked up to my PlayStation with an HDMI cord, and I have another monitor over here with remote play open, and I uh, game capture the PS4 remote play uh, in OBS over on my PC. Uh, and put all my overlays and my camera over the the gameplay itself. Um, but I actually look at the the PS4 monitor over here so that I don't have any any delay as far as me playing the game. So this is the best way to, uh, I, in my opinion, to set up your 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 PS4 remote play so that you have as little latency as possible when you're streaming. Uh, this also doesn't consume too much of the CPU uh, with your PC when you're just running PS4 remote play uh, so that you can capture the gameplay and put it into OBS and stream on whatever platform you would like. Uh, but yeah, this was a test just to show you guys um, the, the difference. And this is after connecting to the Google DNS servers, um, by the way. So th this is about how different the two screens are here. So the one on the left is the PC, and the one on the right is the PlayStation 4 itself. This is also not a PS4 Pro. This is a regular PS4, so it's not 1080p, it's 720p on the left side. Uh, but the, on the monitor itself, it is 1080p. Uh, I just can't do PS4 remote play in 1080p. Have a great day, guys. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.